Hello everyone, my name is John Melison and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today everyone, I'm going to paint a very simple landscape. I'm going to make it a very mis uh, a misty and uh, I'm going to put uh, some trees on, 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 on forest and can Please don't forget to subscribe if you subscribe it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see there the five limited colors, the brushes that we're going to need, and all the things that we're going to need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now. And I'm going to do this a little bit sketching first. I'm going to use this raw umber with a small uh, liner brush. Okay, so we have a liner brush, everyone. I know I mean, it's not a, it's a small flat brush, the smallest flat brush I have. So I'm going to assume that this will be my horizon here. Yeah, something like that. And then, I don't know, maybe I'm going to make it a little bit like that. Yeah, maybe something like that. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit like that. So horizon will be this one, and this would be a little bit of uh, down, uh, uh, a little bit of uh, I don't know downwards <laughs> like that. Okay, so I'm going to put a, a tree here. there and then the background will be a bit of like that of Aris, everyone so i'm gonna make a uh, misty i'm gonna make this misty uh, light very light color okay so that's it this will be my sketch initial sketch and let's start the underpainting okay so i have here the the 1.5 inch flat brush we can use this one for the background so I want it to be a little bit yellowish. Yeah. I just have to play the yellow and the purple colors, everyone. Okay, let's add a bit of purples, blue and the red, and then white. There, we have the, the blue and the red, and then much white. It should be very bright background, everyone. Do not make it so much bluish or something like that. It should be very bright background. Add more white, everyone, to your colors. Add more white. I'm going to put some red. I'm going to have yellow and then white. Red, yeah. 
so let's put it here i want it to be really a little bit yellowish like it's that there's a sun there something like that but i don't want that it's very obvious everyone so i just make it like that so blend it good blend it good blend it well i mean there that's very smooth okay it's very smooth blending okay so let's add a little bit of orange also to the here to the ground okay And then to the ground also here, right? I'm gonna make it orange or something like brownish. Okay, can use the umber with some red. can put a bit of orange I just want to create a different mood everyone I don't want to make so much green on this time so yeah it will be a different kind of mood in the landscape I think this is just a very fast landscape everyone to paint like it's an a la prima okay but I still like to add the background like this to create a beautiful uh, mood of colors like that let's add the the forest the misty forest Okay, so I'll be using this uh, again uh, the big brush 1.5 inch flat brush let's try to add a bit of autumn forest so red and then yellow uh, low umber and then let's add some white there there make it a little bit you know that's more white there 
जस्तो लाग्दा त एभ्रीवन I think I'm going to use uh, a different brush. I think I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use this uh, smaller flat brush, everyone. Uh, the medium size flat brush, I mean. So you can use some more umber and then, and then white, make it bright. You can add a little bit yellow or red to make browns. Some parts are bright color. There. Okay, getting my light, something strong. So everyone, I think something is wrong with my light. Okay. It's very dark. Make it lighter. Okay, yeah, that's uh, just a bright color. And then this one, everyone, let's make this also, but I'm gonna use a bigger brush, the 1.5 inch flat brush. I have here the raw umber with the yellow and the red. So put this one here. I think someone is working there with the building everyone. Yeah, and then it affects my lights here. A little bit low voltage. This is not good. Sorry everyone if my light is blinking. Yeah.
okay i'm gonna use uh the other brush this one run sweat a little bit I'm gonna use this raw umber and then yellow and then red. So yeah, I'm all I I use a lot of earthly colors everyone. I I don't use so much cream this painting it's a lot of earthly colors and also my light source will be from the left so just tapping technique You can add a bit of raw umber to make some parts way darker. There. Okay, let's add some tree trunk. So I will just use the raw umber. So I must say that this will be like a acacia tree. Okay. I'll be using now the liner brush, this one. Yeah, I think my light is still blinking everyone. I hope it's not so much obvious in the camera. Okay, I think it's fine. So let's, uh, I'm gonna use this liner brush everyone, the small liner brush. So let's add more. So it's still blinking, I don't know. Yeah, wait everyone, I have to change my bulb. I don't know that I hit this uh, workers outside.
Yeah, I hope that it's not broken. Okay. So let's add more uh, branches. Yeah, it's the same. I think there's really problem with the So I will add more. I'm sorry everyone. Yeah. I think I'm gonna need to use an EVR here. Okay, so let's continue adding this one. I hope that blinking is not so much bothering you. Yeah, it's all the same. I'm sorry everyone if the light is like that. I cannot control of workers outside. Hopefully it, it doesn't bother you. Okay? So here. So I'll add more. Uh, yeah, I, I really need an EVR for this one, everyone. Because uh, this is really not good. Just one bulb is like doing like that, but the other bulbs are fine. Okay, so yeah, I hope that's not bothering you also. I'll just continue everyone, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I cannot control these things today. I hope that's not so much bothering you. Just this blinking of lights. I hope that's not so much obvious in the camera. Okay, so let's add more 
uh, what they call this uh, branches okay to make it look good okay so as you can see here as you can see here is very misty okay so I'm going to add some colors here a little bit bright I know I will start now adding some highlights here on the tree everyone I will be using this bristle flat brush so I have here the yellow a bit of brown rumber or and red and then white so slowly like that everyone okay that's it so not so much bright just, uh, just like that you can mix for a little bit of orange you can put it here yellow everyone you can do some yellow I'll be using the flat brush, this one. You can add some more white here to make this part brighter. there okay yeah so we can see that this part are bright part okay the colors are very bright i have to put more here so that i can see that there's more further part
Oke. Okay. Ya, yeah, so we can see now some perspective and lights. I like the slides everyone. So good. It's simple and good. Okay, it is very very good. Very simple painting. Okay, so let's start to add some colors. I'm, I'm gonna put a little bit greenish here. So I'm gonna use this bristle flat brush. And I have here the blue and then yellow. I think I'm gonna need to add more yellow. So here one, sorry about the bug. Can add a little bit greenish on the top. There. The stopping technique. Yellow. Can I get a little bit yellowish here, bro? No, I mean more bluish. Sometimes this brush is not good. more yellow and then white and a bit of red yeah put it here for the highlights everyone the sun is striking on this part So yeah, that's a beautiful looking uh, tree. So simple, few colors and we can achieve such a beautiful tree, okay? And then we can use more yellow. We can add it here. There. With some yellow here. Some backlight, everyone. So 
try to put a little bit of river yeah on the bottom of on the base of the tree everyone so yeah maybe i'm gonna try to put a little bit of river here so it will become a little bit exciting or good so i'm gonna tr try to put a bunk here Or something like that just a stream everyone yeah maybe it's a stream i don't want to make it so much yeah like that and then you can use a bit of colors or bright uh, reflection there so yeah we can use this one a bit of red white and red a bit of blue yeah and we can create a reflection here i think this is too bright yeah that's too bright make it more yellowish yeah this is perfect And then a little bit of umber for this one. Just drag it down around like that. You can add a bit of uh, greenish umber, a little bit of blue and red. red and blue put more blue so that it will become a little bit a uh, bluish color there okay and then we can and more lights using this and white and then umber maybe a bit of orange everyone and then yellow I mean white No, I want it to be a little bit darker. okay so it will be a little bit of reflection okay so yeah and then we can use this brush everyone 
we can add a bit of uh, greenish blue a rumber blue and then yellow and then white Add a little bit greenish everyone because it's so absurd without greens. I don't like this brush. <laughs> it's not so good. I'm going to put some rumber. Just stopping technique. Yeah, this brush is not good. Don't buy this. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put some white, and then I have your yellow. I'm gonna put some red, yeah, and then amber. So here we can put more highlights okay just stopping technique everyone there so don't make it too bright everyone always remember that because this part should have no light here and as expected it should be dark okay Try to ruin the the tip of the brush so that it will it will create a beautiful texture. Something like that. I'm gonna put some yellow on my palette. I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow and then red, everyone, and then try to do some tapping technique I don't like this brush everyone really I'm gonna need to choose I'm gonna need to just use this one 
So, yeah. Yeah, this one is better. Just stop in technique. Okay. And then we can create some lines on our on our uh, river. Okay. We can use some white little blue and the red it should be not so much bright everyone so, so that we can see there's a little bit of flowing part here That looks like a river. It looks like a river now. I think the painting is so simple, everyone, and I like it. Okay, simple strokes and they create a beautiful uh, texture, okay? And then, yeah, let's continue doing here. I'll be using the same brush, this one. And, yeah, let's put some, a little bit orange. So just do like that in your brush everyone position your brush like that Okay, tapping technique, and also here one, you can put more. Then let's put more highlights using yellow. There, put highlights here.
แต่ I'm also here everyone And then we can also put here. Some small tree. Yeah, that looks good. We can put, uh, I'll put some brands, everyone, row umber and then white, some yellow. Okay. And then also here. I'll put a, a nipa hut or an old house there, everyone. Here, I'll be using the the small flat brush. Yeah, I just want to make it look misty. Okay.
okay that's right okay so i will just try to retouch and i think i i will finish okay so i'm gonna put more uh highlights everyone so i'll just try to use this yellow a little bit of red to make some orange Just for the topping, like that. There. And then you can add more blue umber and then blue. Okay, and let's add a brighter part. I want to exaggerate some things, everyone. So I have here the yellow and the white. So like that add some white color even this one here there we can add more yellow and then this one also here to make this part bright Okay. I'm gonna add more white uh, yellow here everyone to make this uh, bright yellow look like, look like that it hit by a good light source.
there. Okay. Yeah. I'm almost done everyone. Just a little bit of retouch and I'm done. That's why I encourage everyone to retouch more, to add more details. And then we can put some tree here. Okay, so I think I am very contented with this one. I just want to 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 paint a very simple landscape today, everyone, so that uh, you can also uh, do it. And even this one looks realistic and um, looks complicated. But for me, uh, this uh, beginners can also do this one. It will not be so hard for them so i encourage beginners even the beginners to try this one also so that you can you can express you can learn the color mixings and everything there to become uh, to make your painting better okay so i hope that you are happy with this painting today and i am also happy and and very contented with the result and yeah it's just one hour and 10 minutes everyone it was very very fast painting tutorial and the result is really really great okay everyone so i want to say thank you for watching this video today and i hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why i'm using limited colors in palette because i want you to learn to know how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like add some comments subscribe for more videos in the future Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God be sure. All the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the Lord.